Cruises, but we haven't finished there. We are now moving on to Costa Cruises Nine Nights, and this is a brand new ship as well. Of course, is the Costa Diadema. I hope I'm saying that right. You brand are. new ship. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is incredible. Of course, Costa Cruises. You've got Nine Nights with the Mediterranean cruise here. You've also got Naples and a stay in Naples as well. That's right. Mm. Yeah, and as you rightly said there, Genevieve, this is a brand new ship. It's coming out in November of this year. It's still being finished off, still being built, um, and it's going to be incredible. Uh, designed the interiors by Joe Farkas, who designs all the Carnival ships, because Costa, again, although they are an Italian cruise company, cruising Italian style is their, is their kind of tagline. They are part of the Carnival fleet. Um, this is going to be a very beautiful ship. Um, it's going to be quite big. It's going to be their largest one, about just over 130,000 tons. It's going to have over 7,000 works of art for you to enjoy, with this theme of royalty. Over 41 painters and sculptors and photographers and architects and graphic designers have, have been included in the, just the interior design of this ship. And it's going to have a lot of pop culture and Italian Renaissance art feelings. Um, it's going to have a wonderful long promenade to help you connect more closely with the sea. Lots of different choices of dining from a wonderful Japanese uh, restaurant where you see the food prepared in front of you and brought out on the griddles. Uh, you saw a little section there of the, the laser. They've got a wonderful new laser um, venue oh, right. where there's all these lasers and you can kind of literally shoot lasers at different people and it's like a laser maze. Quite incredible. Uh, for the first time ever there's a country rock club as well so if you're a fan of country rock it's definitely oh, the yeah. ship for you. Uh, and a genuine German pub as well where you can sit there and get your kind of lovely German beers. It's going to be a Fantastic. really, really good fun ship. And oh. always with Costa. Very beautiful, very bold, very brash. Oh, I bet the spa's lovely on there. I just saw a glimpse of it there and I thought, mm. oh, yes, I'd love that. Let's have a look at where we're going. Now, we are going to fly, of course, London to Naples. And we get to stay for two nights in Naples in a four-star hotel. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Naples. Um, you know, it's Italy's most red-blooded city, I always like to say. It's mm. a proper slice of southern Italian life. In fact, it's one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Uh, and you'll often see when you go into the city centre, which is an ESCO protected the city, that's very rare for a city centre to be an ESCO protected. Um, there's so much for you to see and do. Don't ignore the city centre itself uh, with the buzzing Vespers and the honking Fiats as they weave through the streets and this forest of uh, skew t uh, TV aerials that punctuate the skyline. However, you've got so much on your front doorstep. You can go out to Capri, the island of Capri, oh, take the ferry yes, out there. It's yeah. incredible. You can go up the Amalfi Coast, get the lemon and orange oh, blossoms in your nostrils. Stunning. You can go through to Pompeii and Herculaneum for your history, the Roman history. You can. There's a wonderful actual... Uh, the National Museum, which is in Naples itself, which mm -hmm. has all of the archaeological finds from Pompeii and Herculaneum oh, in really? it. So if you don't want to go there, or you've been there, yes. you want to go and see what they found in there, go to that museum. And of course, uh, you have Mount Vesuvius, the stunning Mount Vesuvius that you can look and teeter over and enjoy. Oh, just beautiful. And if that wasn't enough for you, we're moving on for seven nights cruising. Yeah, this brand new ship, so it's going to be a wonderful atmosphere on board, great need to party. Your first port of call is going to be La Spezia. This is a wonderful place. Uh, the Gulf of La Spezia is one of the most beautiful in the world uh, and you've got basically five crazily constructed medieval fishing villages that date back to the 7th century that hug these this shoreline and it's called the Cinque Terre National Park um, cars have been banned you can only walk along paths between these between these uh, between these villages. Oh. It's incredibly beautiful. Yes. It's a great way to step back into ancient Italy, into the tradition of how things used to be done. Yes. Um, and it's full of gorgeous 13th to 16th century churches. Um, from here, you can also go out to Pisa and Florence. But for me, it's all about Cinque Terre. It's all about this beautiful little railway line that takes you through all the walking trails that dip, that kind of cross crisscross this gorgeous coastline. Beautiful images it, we're looking at it's, here. It's stunning. It's really stunning. And that's yes. not even scratching the surface, really. Exactly. We can um, only show you so much here. Now, um, so then we're moving on. Yes, yeah, Savona's next. And this is a great location. Uh, again, you've got the Ligurian Alps kind of behind it. Oh, uh, and then you've got that. a great way for you to go through to Nice, Monaco, Portofino, Gen Genoa. Uh, lots of different things are, are within easy distance of Savona. Then Marseille. Oh, yes. Marseille. Now, Marseille is great. It's the second largest city after Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, it's home to a magical harbour uh, where there's great shopping to be had, a great fish stew for you to go and try. Um, it's one of the oldest of the great French cities, actually, and you'll, you'll recognise bits of it because it's played a part in so many different films, too yes. many to mention here. You've got Chateau Delft just offshore, where the Count of Monte Cristo was supposed to be imprisoned, according to Dumas. Um, and, of course, you've got Provence on your front doorstep. Um, this is the Notre Dame. Um, it's not a basilica, which gives you the best view, and you can get a petty train that takes you up there. Oh, gives lovely, you amazing yes. views of the harbour, and I would recommend you doing that if you want to stay to the city. But head into Provence, get involved in the sunflowers and the lavender of this, of this magical area that inspired people like Van Gogh.
Oh, beautiful. And then we're going to one of your favourites, of course. Barcelona. Yes. Yeah, we've already covered it, of course, and we were mm -hmm. filming out there last week, so fresh footage to come soon oh, for lovely. that for you to look forward to. But Palma's next. Oh, yes. Palma beautiful. de Mallorca. Now, I used to be in here every week. Um, it's a, lot, a lot of cruise ships use this as their base, uh, and it's a magical, magical mm. place. Again, an incredible harbour for you to walk down to this incredible neo-Gothic cathedral. And behind the cathedral, you've got a rabbit warren of different little um, cobblestone streets where you can get Gamba Salioli, um, where you can get the Esmeralda. Uh, which is the traditional Moloccan um, kind of pastry dish. It's, it's, like, it's a bit like a croissant, uh, yeah. but even tasting. You dip it into a hot chocolate. I really would recommend that. Um, great beaches on Palma de Mallorca for you to enjoy. Um, the Tramontua Mountains, you can hire a car and go and explore them and go and get some some wonderful wood-fired lamb like Rick Stein normally talks about when he does his programs. Always make me hungry on these shows. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Formenta Beach is the most deserted, most beautiful beach on the island. Or you can get the Train de Sola, which takes you through this wonderful village in the middle of the mountains and the caves of Drac. I mean, there's literally so much to see and do. It's a wonderful destination. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? The beautiful Mediterranean. And um, you have a relaxing day at sea then, and of course you then fly from Naples back to London with those beautiful treasured memories. Um, now, of course, we have got the lovely brand new ship. This is a Costa Diadama, so you could be the first to sail, which is so wonderful. It is, it? and I thought you very correctly said it's got an amazing ice cream bar on board. Um, and a really, really, really good wine bar as well. We do a selection of cheeses from around the world that oh, you, you nice. have as you sip your vino. <gasps> On your relaxing day at sea. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, please. And uh, let's take a look at this fantastic price. Now, I have to say, for a brand new ship, mm. take a look at that price. That is incredible it's value. It's a really good price. And there's lots of different dates on, uh, on offer. Yes, I indeed. really think the really good value there. Um, is the New Year sailing. You get to spend New Year's, New Year's Eve in Naples itself. Look yes. at that, 579. And normally at Christmas and New Year, the price is rocket. That's such good value. And the party, the party's incredible. The atmosphere, brilliant. So you get to be on a brand new ship, one of the first to sail. You could then have your New Year's in Naples for that price of 579. If you think of the, the tickets you would buy maybe to go to New Year's here, that is absolutely yeah. incredible value. Really good I value. agree with you. I think that's a great day to go actually if you can. Um, now great prices all the way through there. There's a single special on here as well of course if you're a lone traveler. Beginning which of is January fantastic. which is great. Exactly. That's just 899 which I think is brilliant also. And um, so much to talk about here of course and we have got of course excursions as well. Yeah, again, up to 60% cheaper and uh, take the stress out of your first day on board. Book them beforehand, Ooh. guarantee the tours you want to do uh, at a fraction of the cost that you might pay on board.